Hi, Coach Anna here with Rewind. Today we are doing a really simple shrimp stir fry. One of the things that I love about shrimp is that it is one of the easiest proteins to cook. I'm really a no fuss kind of gal when it comes to cooking. And the nice thing about shrimp is you can defrost it really, really quickly. So if you forgot to defrost the chicken the night before, this is where shrimp really comes in handy. So this was actually frozen not too long ago. And all, all we did was uh, run it under uh, cold water and kind of soak it in that cold water. And voila, you got some defrosted shrimp. Uh, so what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna season this first. We're gonna stir fry it in the pan. And then we've got here some um, frozen vegetables. So this, again, I'm all about no fuss. So this is super super easy we've got some frozen veggies that we're gonna also stir fry in the pan flavor that up and then uh, to serve it on top we'll use some instant rice as well we've got some cauliflower rice as well to bulk up the vegetables uh, and get some fiber in there so let's first start with our shrimp I like to keep it really simple you certainly can use whatever spices you want but we've got some salt and pepper here that I'm just going to put some pinches in there I also specifically for shrimp I really like to use paprika to be honest I don't really taste the paprika in there. I do it really just for the presentation. I like the look of it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that into our shrimp as well. Our pan over here is already warmed up. So got it on high heat now. I'm gonna put some oil and measure out a tablespoon here uh, to get our shrimp cooking. Shrimp cooks very, very quickly. So this will be a quick process. I'm just gonna toss that on there. And we're just gonna do real quick on this side and then I'll flip it over to the other side. And because this is so quick to cook, as soon as we get this off, we'll be able to move on to our veggie portion of this dish. Shrimp is also really nice because it's a very low calorie actually, one of the lower calorie proteins. So when you're uh, asking yourself in this meal, where is my protein source? Do I have protein in this meal to keep me full? Shrimp is a great option for that. And the other thing, we're doing a stir fry today, but honestly, it, let's just say you cook a big batch of shrimp and it's a little too much for that meal. You can also save some of it to put on top of a salad later on um, or any kind of um, protein source, maybe for something like you want to make a wrap or a taco or something like that. So just as uh, using rotisserie chicken can be really versatile, shrimp can be as well. So you can already see we haven't even had it in the pan for that long and it's already pretty cooked. So I'm just doing, I'm doing our little flips over here. And it's already smelling really good. I'm excited to be able to taste this afterwards. It's it really one of my go-to meals when I don't feel like thinking about what do I make tonight because a lot of this stuff is in the freezer. The shrimp was in the freezer. The veggies are from the freezer. I'm using instant rice. Even the cauliflower was frozen. Uh, so these are all things you can really just have on hand. And if you don't have a lot of fresh produce or those fresh proteins on hand, that's okay. It's all in your freezer. So these are pretty much done. So I'm just gonna turn down the heat for now so we can get our veggies on. I do like to set these aside because these, uh, the cooking time for shrimp is much shorter than how long it's gonna take to cook those frozen veggies. So I do set this aside onto a different plate over here. And then we'll move on to our frozen veggies. All right, now we are on the veggie portion of our uh, stir fry over here. So let me turn the, the heat back up. I am gonna put a little bit more oil in the pan. So I'll measure out another tablespoon of oil here. Now, in order to flavor our frozen veggies, we do have um, some aromatics. We do have some ginger and garlic and some shallots. And so the pan is actually already hot. So I'm just gonna wipe all of that in there our ginger, our garlic, and our shallots. Okay, give that a nice little stir. All right, and you'll really start to smell this. With all these aromatics, you'll start to, your kitchen will be uh, full of fragrance and smells. Okay, so now we've got, um, this is just a, a, fro a bag of frozen, um, variety of frozen veggies. So we do have broccoli, we've got carrots, sugar snap peas, green beans. I really like the water chestnuts in here. And then you've also have um, 
different kinds of carrots. You actually have your normal carrots as well as these yellow ones as well. And there are bell peppers in there too. So quite the mix. So I'm just gonna dump these in there. And when you're cooking from frozen, they will probably take anywhere from five to seven minutes to cook. So you'll weight that out on high heat. So we've been uh, sauteing our frozen veggies here for right about five or 10 minutes and you can kind of eyeball it. You really just want it to be cooked and not frozen anymore. At this point, now that it's fully, uh, fully warmed up, I am gonna season it uh, with some soy sauce. So I'll put about, two, for this amount of veggies, I'm gonna put about two tablespoons in there. Uh, this will give it the flavor. Uh, and then after that, I do also like to put some sesame oil in there. I do that at the very end. Sesame oil burns very easily and you don't need a lot to get, to get that flavor. So I will give this a, a quick stir, add that sesame oil on top, and then I'm gonna show you our uh, composed plate where we'll have all of our food groups with our whole grains, our veggies, as well as our protein, our shrimp that we uh, just made. So let's top it off with a little, and I'm just gonna do a little tiny drizzle here. You don't need a whole lot. Sesame oil is quite flavorful. And just turn off the heat here. And I mentioned earlier, I like easy things. So we are just using some instant, uh, this is a, a mix of quinoa and brown rice. I just. You just stick it in the microwave, super, super easy. So I have uh, here right about half of a cup of that brown rice uh, plus quinoa. The other thing I have here is actually frozen cauliflower rice. So this is uh, great that you can use kind of as a filler for some grains. So if you're someone who traditionally likes a lot more than half a cup of rice, you can use this cauliflower rice as a, a way to bulk up the, your base. So I'm gonna put some of, the, some of the cauliflower rice for our base here. And you can also, um, there's some salt and pepper in here. You can also season this the way that you, uh, however you like. So we've got our grains, we got our proteins that we cooked earlier, our shrimp. So I'm going to add this on top here. All right. And as I mentioned earlier, shrimp is uh, one of the lower calorie proteins for sure. So we have our shrimp in there and then we'll get our medley of veggies and we'll have a really nice, nutritious, balanced plate where, because we got the cauliflower rice in there, we really have that, um, that blend of veggies and the bulk of our plate being veggies to get that fiber in.